Hi, I'm Lifehacker staff writer Nick Douglas. I'm here with New Yorker cartoonist Jason Adam Katzenstein, and today he's going to teach me and you how to draw like a New Yorker cartoonist. Let's do a quick one, just kind of like yeah. see where we're at. You see us in the monitor right there? Here. Like a 20 second, the stakes are real low. Get that plant in there a little bit. Let's call it. I like oh. that. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, I do. See, that has like depth and figure. I can even tell who's who. A lot of what you're doing here is is more of a language than it is what you've observed, which is cool, and that's something that New Yorker cartoonists do, that you kind of, you go back to simplifying things, exaggerating things, and relying on an existing set of indicators for what things are, like dots for eyes. Here's one thing that I'm doing, actually, that might, that might be helpful. This is something that a teacher in high school, David Schaffman, taught me. People draw with their wrist all the time, but uh, he encouraged us to draw with our whole arm, and so I hold the pen like this. And that's helping you make it more, like, gestural? Mm-hmm. Draw your impression of my features. Okay. Ready, set, go. And it's not like this is that holding the uh, pen this way is like necessarily like a better, like more helpful thing for your motor skills. It's mm -hmm. actually supposed to like jo it's supposed to jostle you out of the comfort of drawing with your wrist. And so if you're feeling like things are going worse, that's totally okay. What we're doing is we're unlearning some habits right now. Mm -hmm. All right. Me. <laughs> it's reading better on camera right now because we're using pens, but part of what we're doing should be like the low stakes work that we do in pencil first. All right, so we're gonna do another quick gesture drawing. You ready? Yeah. See, my pencil's going all over the place. I can like just get freer with it. Yeah. This is the artist's equivalent of dancing alone in front of the mirror. Being a New Yorker cartoonist means that I make people up. And when I make people up, then I resort again to those kinds of uh, shortcuts for how to draw things. But it all comes from doing this work all the time. I'm starting to not regret the first thing I do on the drawings. It's harder to see these. This is demoralizing. There's something really nice about those. <laughs> The good news is that we have a record of everything that we're doing right now, so we're gonna go back and look at the first ones by the last ones. All right, let's show what we've got. Big reveal. Look at that. This does feel a lot better than the stick yeah, figures. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, we got to go back to the, the stick figures. Right. Look, there's, there's personality in this. There's gesture. Should we A-B them? This feels like, oh, yeah, that's a fast version of what you just did. Yeah, and you're not drawing things the way that, that they're supposed to look. You're drawing what you're observing. Well, thank you so much for this. This has been, I think, really helpful to figure out how to, to get a little more of like an actual perspective on what's in front of us and it's been cool to see how that plays out when you're doing something quick and when you have more work. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. This was so fun.